everyone, this is Chris Moralia from Transformative Ed Tech, and today we're going to be talking about how to start off a history class in the first week or so um, using something that's called Edge of Protocols. And we're going to focus particularly on thin slides and on sketch and tell. So it's the beginning of the school year, and maybe you want to find out what your students have learned in their history class. It could be any class uh, so far. What are some of the skills they have or what it might be? So we're going to take a look at, once again, the Edge of Protocols, and this is the concept of a thin slide. So what you have to do with this is basically you create the template. And this is a really cool way of finding out what your students know so far. Um, it's, it's good to a refresher for them, first of all, so that students understand that you know, they may have had a, a month or so off, but they do remember for their previous classes. So I'm going to focus particularly on history. So what you do on a Google slide, or it could be a PowerPoint as well, is you create like a master slide. It doesn't have to be anything too complicated, and you have asked the question. So as I said, it doesn't have to be history. It could be science or whatever it might be. This It could be um, at the elementary level, you, you're trying to find out about a certain topic. And this is a fun way of doing it because the students are going to be interacting. So with a thin slide, it's basically one word, one image, and one sentence, and the students share. And the cool thing about this, this is all in one single slide deck, so it's pushed out to the students. So once again, if I were to be asking the question, what do students know about history? Let's say they're in an eighth grade class and they're in their seventh grade class. They say, oh yeah, I actually remember something about the Renaissance. They simply put this down. Now this is something they should be able to do in five minutes. So you can see that they have the one word, The one image, in this case it's multiple images, but it's all part of one, and they've written a sentence. And it just it's just a touch base with them, and then you get a general idea of what they've learned as well. Now, the next step is pretty simple. You are going to be basically creating a slide deck that has nothing on it because the students have to do the rest of the work. So simply as students are, each student would get a chance to look at a basically a blank slide. And so they have to populate this with the go back to the one word, the one image, and one sentence, and then they could share out a fun activity. And once again, it gives you some insight. You have the student uh, slide deck, the students get to talk about it, and it's, uh, it's, it's interactive for the, the students as well. Now, once again, focusing on edge ed of protocols, this is what's called sketch and tell. And in this particular one, we can use that same question. What have you learned in any class so far? Um, and then once again, it's good to touch bases. So this gives the students another option of demonstrating what they learn. So the students don't have to take a, a lot of time. We're only talking about 10 minutes and each student is going to get a slide deck. So let's say, um, Whatever the concept is, what is not necessarily oppression, it could be any concept. Uh, so it, if we can say the concept is what do they learn in history so far? So they have to create a diagram, a chart, an illustration, and it's something in the sketch. And they have to use the various tools there. A little bit challenging, but once again, it gets the kids, the students interacting. And they can't go to Google Images and do an image search. The good thing about this is they have to tell about their sketch. So they are going to get a slide deck. Everybody gets a slide deck. And so they sketch it out using any one of those draw tools from Google that are integrated into Google Slides. Then they have to tell about it. And you want to put, usually you put the directions down the bottom in the notes section. It's that simple. And once again, you get a good look of what students know from their previous classes. So I love using Edge of Protocols. They're simply put together, simple to use. And the very fact, because in this case, it's used as a slide deck, I get to see all my students' responses. 
And if you're thinking, well, I don't know if I could put this in my LMS, well, you could push it out in Google Classroom. Uh, I use Canvas, it could be pushed out in Canvas and then uh, modified once the students, you give them the 10 minutes and then you have the slide deck for the particular class. It could be pushed out by, through a link or with any of the LMSs. So Edu Protocols is a go-to for me because as I said, it's simple. It's a quick way of assessing what students know, and it can be used all throughout the school year.